games remain in Ohio State's football season. The first tomorrow at noon. The one after that, the game. Buckeyes eager to step on the gas early tomorrow against Indiana. We're going to break it down for you ahead in our show. But first, it is region semifinal Friday on football Friday night. Jared Smalley, Justin Holbrock, divisions four, six, and seven. They do battle tomorrow night. We start tonight with a blockbuster in Division One. Yeah, earlier this season, Gahanna finally did what it could not do for more than 20 years. That's beat Pick Central and win an OCC title tonight. The Lions trying to back it up with a second win in the same season. Never before has Gahanna team won 12 games. Yeah. Had a chance tonight. Tigers, though, a proud powerhouse. Seven straight wins, and they lead into the half. Quarterback Braden Mantooth, short keeper, 14-7 Tigers. Third quarter, the Lions roar. Brennan Ward threw some dimes in the second half to tie Staples. Great catch. We're tied at 14. Next possession, Ward, watch this, avoids the rush to Dior Hubbard, and he is fired up because Gehanna leads, and in the fourth quarter, they put it away. Ward on the quick slant to Staples. Yeah, we got that. <laughs> Takes it the distance. The defense ferocious for the Lions as they pull away. 38-14, first ever 12-win season for Gehanna. Clicks button. That was easy. All right, the other oh, region good. semifinal. Good. Defending region champ Upper Arlington and New Albany. Eagles driving. Christian Manville, only a sophomore, puts New Albany in front 7-0. Next drive, Eagles back inside the red zone, back inside the end zone. Dylan Rosser this time, Eagles up 14-0. UA trying to get on the board, facing third and goal. Tommy Janowitz rolls right, throws the, the corner. Rocco Pratty brings it in. It's 14-7. But New Albany just ran the Golden Bears down, literally. They iced the game on the ground. Manville, the exclamation point, and the Eagles win 20 to 7. Let's go to Region 2. Olin Tangy Liberty, a surprise semifinalist. 5-5 five and five in the regular season. Tonight facing Perrysburg and Hello Patriots. Andrew Leonard at quarterback to Evan Nelson, 68 yards. All the way to the end zone. Now under three minutes to play in the game. Liberty trying to finish it off. They're up 7-3, to three, and they finish it. Leonard to Alex Oakley, 25 yards. Liberty plays great defense and they win it 14 to 3. They're going to face Springfield next Friday in the Region 2 title game. To Division 2, Maslin Washington ended Big Walnut season last year. Tonight, the Eagles with a chance for revenge in the Region semi semifinals. They start things out the right way. Nate Seavers, great running back. Runs the opening kickoff all the way back for a touchdown. 6 0 Eagles. The extra point is no good. Then the Tigers, Jalen Slaughter. Drops back. He's picked off by Teddy Dancer. Hold me close, young Teddy Dancer. Oh, you get it. Okay. This sets up the 21-yard <laughs> field goal by Big Walnuts Cam Gladden. Nine-nothing Eagles. Too good. Second quarter, Maslin takes the lead, and they would not give it back. Slaughter hits Braylon Tolls for the 39-yard touchdown. All Maslin from there. 42 to 21 Tigers. And in the other semifinal, Westerville South taking on Uniontown Lake. This game played over at Dover. Wildcats fall short, 16-7, ending their season. Since losing their opening game to Harvest Prep, Bloom Carroll has been building and building toward another appearance in the state Final Four. They've made it there the past two years, but a big test tonight. The Bulldogs get the Sheridan Generals in the Region 11 semifinals. Second quarter, Bloom Carroll leading 3-0. Andrew Marshall, really good running back, takes the handoff, bounces outside, outruns everyone to the corner, and the Bulldogs are up 10-0. Go to the third quarter now, Bloom Carroll back deep in Sheridan territory. Evan Thanthanavong. Fakes the handoff, keeps it for the seven yard touchdown. Bloom Carroll up 17 0. That Bulldog defense was getting after it once again. Jet Jones with the interception, and Bloom Carroll advances 17 7. Now, the other semifinal played in Chillicothe. Bishop Watterson facing the Jackson Ironmen. So dominant in their playoff run so far. Hard time getting out of their own ends uh, of the field. No problems on a first drive. Cade Wolford, touchdown. Two point conversion, good. 8 0 Jackson. Eagles answer their first drive facing third and goal from the one AJ Mechanich punches it in. Watterson down 8 7. Eagles back on the attack. Mechanich delivers a strike. Brandon Trow takes the shot, but he hangs on for the touchdown. The Eagles stop a two point conversion with 39 seconds left to play, and they win it by two 24 22. At Nelsonville, York tonight, undefeated Harvest Prepped aimed to keep the train on the tracks against Wheelersburg in Division 5, and the Warriors advance, winning close 25 to 21. Big region final next week for them. All right, playoff game set for uh, Saturday now in Divisions 4, 6, and 7. Story of the year in the City League, East Tigers enjoying the best season in school history. Their first two playoff wins ever, they got Steubenville in Division 4. 
Also in Division 4, Bishop Reedy looked strong last week in their second round playoff victory. They'll face Indian Valley. The winners of those two games will meet next week in the regional final. Tonight's play of the night from week 13. Back to the Sheridan Bloom Carroll game. Reed Packer scrambles, balls up for grabs, <laughs> slips through the hands of two defenders. Andrew Holton finds it, and he goes 75 yards down the sideline. That's all that could come from the game, though. Bloom Carroll wins 17-7. They got on the air, though. That's cool.